Hello and welcome to the classroom. My name is Miss Kathy, if you're new here, and this is Sue. Sue helps me greet you every day when you come to class, and she also helps me say goodbye at the end. By the way, Sue, at the end of our class today, we're reading a book. It's called Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo, and we're going to make a zoo. We're going to do some map skills, some simple map skills, and learn our right from our left. Today's letter of the day, if you haven't guessed it already, is Z is for zoo. Are you ready to get started? Why don't you send some kisses to our friends? And we'll be on our way. The first thing that we need to do is feed Fred. That's our class job. So every time you come to class, you have to feed Fred his fish food. Fred is our class pet. All right, well, now that Fred has been fed, we'll turn around and do our calendar time. The month is still October. Let's reach into our can and see how we're going to count today. It says elephant. An elephant can live at the zoo. Let's stretch out our arm and pretend that it's an elephant's trunk. And let's sway it back and forth as we count the numbers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Today is October 25th. Can you say that? What's today's date? October 25th. If you want to know the day of the week, then you have to go straight up to the top. It starts with W and it's right in the middle. So what day is it today? Ooh, ooh, ooh. W says ooh, as in wake up. So it must be ooh, ooh, Wednesday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it's time to look outside your window and see what your weather is like today. Do you see the bright sun shining or do you see clouds in the sky or do you see rain coming down or is it windy? When I do like this, just shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is, it is, it is out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. We're going to put on a t shirt for Weather Bear and some pants and what is the season right now the season is fall good the season is fall well that was our calendar and weather time and now it's time for our letter of the day today's letter is the letter z do you have a letter z in your name if your name has letter Z, stand up. If your name has letter Z, stand up. If your name has letter Z, if your name has letter Z, 
If your name has letter Z, stand up. Well, Z is for zoo, and zebras live at the zoo. They can. Here's a zebra on our card, and I decorated my Z to look like a zebra. I just used my black crayon and I made some stripes. So what letter is this that we're decorating? It's letter Z, letter Z. Now that we can recognize letter Z, we'll practice writing it. And the way that you write a letter Z is you make a line that goes straight, straight across the top, and then you slide to the bottom. Hey, that looks like number seven. And then we're going to make a line that goes straight back. So we're going to go straight, slide, back. Can you do that? Can you make a big letter Z? You can use your own paper. You can use a whiteboard like me, or you can use handwriting paper. You can even skywrite if you don't have any paper at all. Just pretend that you're writing in the sky with your finger. Straight, slide, and back. Straight, slide, back. I like to say zig, zag, zig when I'm practicing my letter Z's. Zig, zag, zig. Well, the big Z and the little Z look the same. One is big and one is small, but you're still going to make the same lines straight and slide and back. Let's practice making little letter Z. And if you're using handwriting paper, then little Z goes downstairs. So find the stairs and that's the line that you need to put little Z on. Zig, zag, zig. Zig, zag, zig. Zig, zag, zig. Well, I'm going to cheer for you because I know you are doing a great job practicing your letter Z's. And this is a sticker for your handwriting paper. Well, now that we know what Z looks like, we can recognize it, we can write it. The next thing to do is talk about the sound that Z makes. Letter Z makes this sound. Z, Z, Z. Put your teeth together like this and then hum and blow through your teeth. Z, Z, Z. It kind of sounds like a bumblebee. Z, Z, Z. That's our hand motion for letter Z. Move your hand all around like you're shooing a bumblebee away. Z, Z, Z. Can you do that? Z. Well, letter Z says Z as in zoo. So our game today is going to be zoo charades. Let me show you some pictures of some animals that you might see at the zoo. You might see a lion or a giraffe or a hippo. You might see an alligator or a bear or an elephant, a monkey, a snake or a tiger. Those are some of the animals that you might see at the zoo. So I'm going to act out one of those animals and you try to guess what animal I am, okay? All right, here we go. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ah. Monkey, good. All right, what animal is this? <gasps> Snake. What animal is this? <laughs> Elephant. What animal is this? Roar. Lion or a tiger. Very good. You did a great job. Let me do one more. I have a really long neck for this one. A giraffe. Good job. Well, letter Z says Z, Z, Z as in zoo. And now that we know that sound, we'll blend with it. Now, if you're not ready for blending, you just keep focusing on the letter sound. Z says Z, Z, Z as in zoo. If you're ready for blending, this will only take us just a few minutes. Let's put our vowels down. A, E, I, O, U, A, E, 
I O U A E I O U. These are the vowels. All right, and we're going to put these sounds together. That's what blending is. Z says z, and A says a, 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 as in achoo. And you can watch the Vowel People video in another video and remember all those vowel sounds if you need help with those. Z says z, and A says a, z, a, z, a. You try. Z, a, like zap. Let's do the next one. Z says z, E says eh, like old man E. Eh, what'd you say? Eh, z, eh, z, z. You try. Z, like z. Okay, let's do the next one. Z and I. Z says z, and I says e, like an icky sticky lollipop. Z, e, z, z. Z, like zip. Let's do the next one. Z says z, and O says ah, z, ah, z, ah. Let's do the last one. Z says z, and U says uh, z, uh, z, uh. z, -a. Z, 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 Z. Those are our blends for today. You did a great job. And that was our letter of the day. So now that means it's time for math. And for math today, we're going to be doing zoo animal patterns. Now, a pattern is something that repeats again and again and again. Here we have a hippo and another hippo and a lion and a lion this entire thing is going to repeat hippo hippo lion lion what will be next we'll start the pattern over again so what was first it was the hippo so we'll start over with the hippo 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 lion lion hippo and then it would continue, hippo, lion, lion. All right, let's do the next one. Here we have a giraffe and a zebra, and then I see a giraffe again, so I found my pattern. This is what's repeating, giraffe, zebra, giraffe, zebra, giraffe, what will be next? The zebra. After the giraffe comes the zebra. Giraffe, zebra, giraffe, zebra, giraffe, zebra. Okay, let's do this one. It has a monkey and then there's an alligator and then there's an elephant and then back to the monkey. So here's my pattern. Monkey, alligator, elephant. Monkey, what will be after the monkey? The alligator. Good. Monkey, alligator, elephant. Monkey, alligator. And then if it continued, the elephant would be next. All right, last one. Zebra, monkey, hippo. And then we're back to the zebra. So there's the pattern. Zebra, monkey, hippo. Zebra, monkey, what's next? Hippo, after the monkey comes the hippo. Zebra, monkey, hippo. Zebra, monkey, hippo. Well, you did a great job with our math time today. We did zoo patterns. And now it's time for us to do social studies. And we're gonna have some map skills today for our social studies time. That's what we'll learn. Before we do that though, I wanna teach you your right from your left. You might already know this, but this direction over here is to the right, and this direction over here is left. 
can you hold up your hand that is on this side, your right hand? Okay, can you hold up your left hand? All right, let's do a little song. It goes like this. This is my right hand tapping on my head. Can you tap on your head with your right hand? This is my left hand looking far ahead. Can you look with your left hand? Right hand, left hand, making a crown. Make a crown on your head with both your hands. Left hand, right hand, rolling back down. All right, so now we know which is our right and which is our left. So we're gonna use those directions as we do our map skills today. It's a very simple map skills. We're just doing right and left. We're gonna walk into the zoo. This says entrance. And then we're gonna to come to the fountain and we need to make a decision. We're either gonna go right or left. Let's go to the left first. The left is this way. Here, we're going to see the elephants. So I'm going to glue my elephant right there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the path. And I'm gonna go back where the fountain was. And this time I'm gonna to go to the right. To the right, I can see the polar bears. So I'll glue my polar bear right here. You can also see some ice cubes. Polar bears like it where it's nice and cold and icy. Okay, I'm going back to the fountain and just continue down the road. All right, here I am at another place that has to have a decision made. Should I go to the right or the left? I think this time I'm gonna to go to the right. I wanna see the monkeys. I'm gonna to go all the way down to the right and I'm gonna glue my monkeys right here. There's a tree beside this monkey. Monkeys like to climb in trees. Okay, so while I'm over here to the right, I'm also gonna see the lions. So I'm gonna glue my lion right here. To the right, I'm seeing the monkeys and the lions. And then I'm gonna go back to the path. And this time, I'm gonna to go to the left. I wanna see the birds. Birds like lots of trees, so you can see there are lots of trees over here by the bird. Okay, we're gonna go back to the path and we're just gonna go straight, 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 right to the restaurant. I'll glue the fork right there. It's time for a lunch break. So we had some fun doing map skills today. We learned right and left. Well, it's time next to do something fun for art. So let's head to the art table. We're gonna make a little zoo. Okay, so here we are at the art table and you have a decision to make. What zoo animal will you draw? So, hmm, there are so many to choose from. An elephant, a tiger. I think I'm gonna do a monkey. Just gonna make my little monkey look like this. And I think I'll give him a face. And let's see, some arms. Maybe he'll wave at us. Okay, so you can draw whatever you'd like to draw. You can draw a monkey, or here's a tiger, or even an elephant. So once you get your picture drawn, the next thing you can do is take some popsicle sticks and glue them around your picture, just like this, so that it looks like a cage for your zoo animal. Now, if you don't have popsicle sticks, you can do the same thing with strips of paper. Just 
Just glue your strips of paper around your zoo animal. Just like that, the same way that you would use the popsicle sticks. Okay, so that's our art project for today. Today's story is called Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo. I went to a concert when I was a lad, no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mom, and my dad at a band shell right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet, and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat, despite all the music and song. All at once, the conductor erupted with rage a band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes and bassoons. Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play, 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 play. The monkeys played fiddle, the bison played bass, the percussions were manned by the camel. The yak played the sax until red in the face, a surprisingly musical mammal. The bonobo played the oboe, the ferret the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by the light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a superabundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and those creatures were all safely captured. But since, by the minute, I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. They finished and each put his instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. Then each reminisced so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and poked at my ear. You'd better wake up or we're leaving you here. Oh, children, remember whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. The end. <laughs> well, I hope you had some fun today with letter Z. Come back tomorrow. We're starting again our third time through the alphabet this school year. A is for alligator. I'll see you then, everybody. Goodbye.